Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. How do we prepare for the unexpected? Haven't we been asking that question our entire lives? How do we prepare for the unexpected? Because there are no real rules, we find more faith in assumption. Oh, we assume way too often and way too much. I'm guilty of dumping my energy into the process of trying to predict an outcome. My wife and I call it writing the story before it happens. But it's those moments that we didn't think of that truly knock us off balance. Wagner forces suddenly turning on the country of Russia. All we hear about today is how Putin has reacted. Well, what about the rest of the world? I haven't seen that story yet. You know, the real people detached from the politics and the propaganda. How did the world react when Wagner mysteriously backed down and went to Belarus? Where are the real stories about the real people? Show me a story about the citizens of the country, not a leader bragging about how, oh, we would have squashed them if they would have taken one more step forward. Preparing for the unexpected. Nobody saw it coming. As real people, we've got to remove ourselves from everything that we assume. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I take a simple thought and I put you in my heart because what are you thinking about? What are you going through in your everyday life? Did you think about this thing in Russia at all over the weekend and how it could affect you? If something would have happened, how would today's economy be? What would be the process of finding peace in that country? This is the Daily Mess. Sticking to your plans. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, I know a lot of people, including myself. We struggle with that idea. Sticking to your plans. No matter what the circumstances, the sellout is usually against ourselves. I work with managers that know when things suddenly change that it could mean 60 to 80 hours a week. Their personal pain filters down to the rest of the team. I was asked to meet with a major league broadcasting company this morning. The request came in at 8.30 last night, right in the middle of my lecture. Boop, boop, was my phone. I I wrote back during the break. I said, no, 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 no. Let's make it a different time, and let's do it on Zoom. See, I live a Google Calendar lifestyle, and that means everything that I am putting into my day today has already been planned out, and it has been for days, even weeks. Saying no to those before the request maybe comes across as disrespect, but I'm not selling out for the potential of a big break. It doesn't give off that kind of a payday. We've got to learn to stick to our plans, be known for our word. A change in the plans is always going to be available. Do you want to be known as someone that can't be trusted? Well, why should we hire him? He's always changing his mind. He's never in the same place twice. You'll get him for five minutes. You think you've got him for something. And all of a sudden he'll go, ah, I can't do it. Something has come up. Ooh, ooh, that's one of my pet peeves. Something has come up. I can't be there. Really? Even though we worked on this for this amount of time and something has come up. Yeah, something has come up. We do that to ourselves every single day. We sell out ourselves. We don't want to take that extra step to make sure that our plans stay the same. What was on my schedule that made me say no to this major league broadcasting company? You're going to think I'm conceited. You're going to say I'm foolish. I have a movie date with my wife of 31 years. Tomorrow is my birthday, and I had one day this week to see this particular movie before it disappeared from theaters. I felt that was more important than talking to a major broadcasting company, being with family. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.